Hi, this is Amy with your tech tip. This video is for you if you would like to turn your iCloud photos off on your phone, but you don't have enough room for your photos and you'd like to download them to another device. So I decided I wanted to turn off my iCloud photos. And then this happened. Remove from my phone. Hmm. So let me think about this. If I remove them from my phone, they'll still be on iCloud. But what if I want to get them onto my Mac? Or what if I want to keep them on the phone? So in order to get some photos on your phone, you will have to go back to syncing the phone physically with a computer. If we want to be able to keep some of the photos, but not all of the pictures because I don't have enough room for all of them, and I don't want to pay for iCloud, then I do initially have to remove them from the phone. But don't worry, they're still in iCloud. Before I actually remove, you do want to confirm that all of your pictures are in iCloud and fully uploaded from all of, all of your devices. Once you're confident that all of your pictures are available in iCloud, we can remove them from the phone. And what this will do is free up space. I'm turning off iCloud photos and I'll show you two ways to get them off iCloud and onto a computer. One way, if you don't have your own computer, but you're able to borrow one, you can open up your web browser and go to iCloud.com, log into your account and click photos and all of your pictures will be here. And I can only download 1000 at a time. So this could get a little bit tedious if you have a very large library. So I'm just gonna start at the top and we'll just start selecting items. If I choose the top photo and then scroll down, I can shift click another photo and this tells me how many I have selected. So I can select a few more just make sure you hold down your shift key so you don't lose your original selection. And I'm up to 866. Okay, 929 is pretty good. So I'm gonna click the download button and this is gonna create a zip file and package all 929 of those pictures and download those in a bunch. So I continue on and download my pictures in batches of 1000 or less. Once they're downloaded to your computer, now you can open them, copy them to another computer, a external hard drive, upload them to Google, whatever you want. Now, another way to download your pictures from iCloud is just using the Photos app on a Mac. And in order to do that, it is helpful if you have your own computer. If not, um, you can use someone's computer as long as they're not already connected to iCloud. You don't want to mix up your photos with their photos. But if there's not already an iCloud ID con configured with the computer, then you can log in with your own Apple ID. And all you do is check the box that says photos. And as long as the computer has enough room, um, you're going to open up your photos app and all of the pictures download here. So this is the best way if you have a Mac or even another device like an iPad, you can just download everything to the other device and then remove them off your phone. Once they're in the photo library, you can use this for all of your pictures, or if you're moving to a different computer, you can just go in here and select all the pictures and um, download them or drag and drop them into a folder. And that's a lot quicker than downloading them in batches from your web browser, but it can be done both ways. Thanks for watching today. I hope that was helpful. Feel free to check out my next video on how to download some of your photos to your iPhone without using iCloud. See you next time.